Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Hyper-V virtual machine stock in stopping state. What do I mean by stock in stopping state? That sometimes you may want to stop your virtual machine. Like um, if you see my virtual machine here, if you try to stop it, it may get stuck. And in the state here, to just be showing stopping here, not moving forward. So what do you need to do in that instance? Um, just open your PowerShell as an administrator. Run it as an administrator. And once it opens, you can now run this command. This command get VM VM name. Um, the VM name here is the name of your virtual machine, so I'm going to change that. So let's paste it here. The name of my virtual machine, let me reconfirm, is Win Server 2016. So I'm going to change that now. Win server 2016 so once you enter the name of your virtual machine you can hit the enter key yes now we can see the guid of our virtual machine all the necessary information um so what do we need from this information we need to get the um, VM ID because we are going to make use of it later on. So, what is the VM ID here? Let's search for it. Sorry. So, can you see where am I lighting here? This is the VM ID. So, this is the same VM ID we are going to use in our next, uh, next task now. So, now we are going to open uh, the task manager. Let's open the task manager. So, in the task manager, look for the details tab. So once it opens, we are now going to um, look for that VM ID. Uh, first, let's search for um, the vmwp.exe process. That's what we are going to look for. Because there are times that uh, you may have uh, more than one VMs running. So that's where this uh, VM ID will come into place because each of those VMs we have a distinct VM ID. So for these are VM, the ID that uh, we are concentrating on is the one highlighted here. So currently I have only one VM um, working on my system. So on my PV rather. So now let's look for that um, process VMWP. Is it? If you check, look at the ID just right here. Let me expand this. Can you see? Can you see the ID, the VM ID? So, assuming I have more than one VMs running, I will have this process in more than one places, and you can now make use of the VM ID to distinguish or to uh, separate them. So now, what do I need to do? I just need to kill this particular uh, VMWP process. We we'll just hit the end task. Assuming the VM is stopped, what I'm going to see here is not uh, running. You may see stopping. You will see stopping here. 
So once you see stopping, it means it stopped. And it's supposed to show that stopping for some while. And the uh, virtual machine will go into the off state. But once the stopping keeps showing, that means your VM is stopped. So all what you just have to do is to follow the steps I just talked about and you kill that particular VM session and you will be good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.